Man, I really didn't want to make this video, but <laughs> my new personal record with 32,000 dominoes actually failed multiple times. And today we're gonna deep dive and see what really happened in this fall down. What's up, Domino community? My name is Lily Hevish and I'm a domino artist. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hit that subscribe button because we go through behind the scenes of all of my domino projects on this channel, as well as ways that you can learn how to build dominoes. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe. And let's go into this video where there were even few breaks. You can try to guess where they were. I'm going to watch the video back and just point some things out for you <laughs> and you can see what actually happened in this topple. Now if you haven't seen the full video yet, definitely watch that first. I'll put a link right over here. If you're just here for dominoes, go to my main channel. That's all on Hevish 5. Now before I watch this video back, I will say I 100% knew that this setup was extremely risky. There were so many moments where I was like, am I like really building this project? I don't know if I would trust this but you know I did it anyway and even if it didn't work I think it still made a great video and I'm gonna show you additional camera angles as well so you can see more views of this fall down that weren't in the main video all right so little fun fact when I knocked this down I had to knock it down with my foot because I was filming with my other hand and I didn't want to like bend down and reach it and then have to like go up really quickly so I actually filmed the start separately by just taping a domino right before it reached the bridge so the domino line would stop I could film that little start section, reset that, take off the taped domino, and then knock it down with my foot and kind of like screen link it in a way. I think I might actually start all of my projects like that so I have more control over how that first start scene looks because I feel like when you knock down a domino setup, that's like a really important dramatic moment when you're knocking it down for the first time. All right, let's watch this video. Oh my gosh. Okay, we go into this like, Field starter checkerboard section. I kind of want to make a really big project with that idea. Okay, everything is looking good so far. Looking great. Oh, color changing. You wanted to send a positive message. R. And what are you? You're amazing. You are amazing. Okay. This DNA speedball, this double DNA speedball, was one of my favorite parts of this project. And I love, like, I read, I read the comments on the video and people seem to really, really enjoy this trick. So, super happy. I was so relieved that this project worked. Like, I was so scared that it would stop at some point in the speedball or like part of it would knock down early, but it was flawless. Okay, here we go. We go over the bridge. We got these fainters, that all worked. We go up the staircase. Oh my! So this staircase section, I made this probably the very last day and I was very tired. I will say I was building really long hours and I guess I wasn't really thinking that much. I was just like, you know what, whatever. I originally started out by building just a random line on the staircase and then just a normal line on that little bridge section. But then I was feeling like, why don't I just spice it up and put a little speed wall here? Why not? Of course that was a bad idea. I remember thinking to myself, maybe it's a bad idea to have a slow domino line going up a staircase with less force right into a speed wall. And of course, that happened. Why, why did I do that? Why, I literally, every time I have a thought of like, maybe I should change this because it seems a little unsafe. Yes, Lily, you should do that. Listen to yourself. So here's what I had to do. I rebuilt the entire staircase. I rebuilt the fainters technique before that. And then I had to knock down the fainters. So there was like a little bit of time for me to like grab the camera and reset. And then at the same time, Lyle, thank you so much, Jack of All Space 98, he was there to help me film this. He filmed the other section from a different camera angle from the kitchen so I could cut to that clip and then kind of make it more seamless. Oh man, I can't believe that part failed. Let's keep going. Goes over the bridges back into the kitchen. Now, I wanted this section to be like a surprise. I didn't show any of this on social media, so you'd kind of be shocked that it went into a whole different room. Um, again, this was built at the very last second on last day. And then what happened there? Oh my god. <laughs> Boy. 
What? This is another instance where I was like, you know, maybe I should tape down those field starters that are on top of the bench so they don't move. Like I thought about taping them down, but I didn't. But she didn't. I think we're learning some stuff here. Whenever you think you should do something, you should probably do that. Let's watch that back again. This cube is falling. I use the tape trick here on one of the dominoes on the cube to pull down a domino from the field starter, which would trigger that line on top. But because the domino is taped to the field starter, the entire field starter fell over. Like literally the whole line falls over. That one was... I could have prevented that. So to keep the chain going, I just had to take the domino and let go of the string to keep it going. But this time I did tape down the field starter so it will not fall. And this part worked. I didn't have a really great view from my camera angle, but Lyle got an awesome view where it kind of like, the domino goes down this like, it's just a clear tube. And, and I thought it worked really well as like a little elevator shaft to like have a domino go down without being chaotic and like where it would land. I had like a very predictable target area for it to go. Okay, now we have these color changing zipper fields. So instead of a normal field that typically comes from the side, it goes from the middle and it reveals a very special heavish text. Then we have these cool like ice flowers, some diamonds. Oh, we got the waves. This is all perfect. Okay, this tape trick, I didn't put a backup line because all of my tests worked and it worked. I was so happy. I thought that in particular could fail because that's a pretty risky trick on its own. <sighs> All right, the triangles going around. Oh, it's so good. So good. I'm so happy that the spiral worked. I think that's one of my best effects that I've ever done with dominoes. And I spent so long trying to design the perfect kind of arrangement for the spiral. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it right over here. But wow, let's just replay this. We, we got to replay this and enjoy the beauty of my best spiral yet. Just wow, I think the color changing really helps a lot with it. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Going up the staircase now into the cube. So this trick was kinda to like reveal some more domino text that says new PR as in personal record. Okay, wait, can we pause that real quick? Did you see that yellow domino? That like almost failed there, ready? That, that yellow one like almost stopped. Okay, now we go up these plexiglass shelves. This was all perfect. Tape hinge thing worked there. Okay, now we have this ball that's gonna hit the target and it misses the target. I called that one. I 100% called that one. I called it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All my newsletter subscribers, if you saw the secret video, you know that I predicted this. When I was building this project, I was feeling a little bit too hopeful. I tested the, the ball hitting the target, but I didn't think about the fact that when there's dominoes near that ball, the dominoes could prevent it from swinging as fast. It's kind of blocking the ball as the dominoes in the half period fall. It almost looks like the string stretched because it's not even in line with the target anymore. And I think that's something that just happened over time. I'm not really sure, but it, it just wasn't the line, which is kind of weird. Okay, so that's break number three. You gotta guess how many more there's gonna be. Is it gonna be zero or is there gonna be more than that? Keep going, I just swung the ball and it hit the target <laughs> the second time. Okay, now the line's kind of behind the bridge. Okay, now we go into the H5 Dominant Creations boxes going up the staircase. This was all good. This is where it got pretty weird. Okay, well, let me pause. This wall under the glass table fell twice and both those times the wall fell perfectly. And now when I go to knock it down in real life, it stops on the side of it. I totally would not have predicted this. It's because when a domino wall falls, like this is the top domino, usually it'll fall on an angle like this. And as a result, the top part of it moves up. It might look like it's going down, but because of the way it's angled, this part goes upward. And that hit the top roof of that glass table and just stopped there because it was so close 
to touching that glass table, it just like, it just couldn't move. There was no room for the domino to fall. This fell here, this one's legit. The wall kept going, let's keep going. Okay, you see the string? You see that that hanging domino there? What the heck? I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm still like that. This was my fault, this is bad error. I actually taped the tape hinge in the wrong direction. So it wouldn't have fallen. Like, I know for sure when I built the glass table trick the first time, I put it in the right direction, but once I rebuilt it and then I rebuilt it again, I guess I was just going kind of fast and didn't realize that the tape was actually not going to um, have it go in the right direction. So that was a little bit of a bummer. So this was a tricky area to figure out how to keep the chain going without like being in the video. We got some string. I tied some more fishing line to it and underneath, we have this small to large set and I'm gonna put the auto toppler to knock it down. Good thing the colors still kind of match that, but whoa, this is kind of chaotic. Had to do some weird editing to figure out this fail. Yes, this is another section that I thought would fail. That sign, perfect. I was kind of worried that it would hit other things around it. Okay, here we go. This blew my mind. Do you see this? Do you, do you see this right now? It's literally a leaning domino. I was so confused. Oh my God. I literally could not have predicted this. This is one of those fails where it's like, this never should have happened. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. <laughs> so I did some investigating and turns out there was some residue on the floor underneath that domino. It's probably from leftover tape from a different project and that was making it stick to the floor so it didn't fall over. Super weird fail. That one like really doesn't count. I don't know. Let's just keep going. So to keep this chain going, since it was like way back in the setup, we had to use fishing wire to attach the domino to that domino and pull a string and it was complicated. Okay, so now we're going on the fireplace. I'm so happy all these tape hinge tricks work going up. That worked. The fall wall was flawless. And that reveals the Pac-Man ghost, the blue version. All right, I was very happy. These walls worked. It didn't fall early, really. Um, no breaks there. The marble run worked and the octo wall trigger worked. Thank you so much, physics. <laughs> okay. The eight ball trigger worked. Domino art by Hevish5. Hit that subscribe and bam. Whoa. Wow! Oh. What a fall! Yeah! Alright. That was epic. Woo! Glad that's over with. Okay, cut! So total there were five breaks. Did you see any of that coming when you watched the main video? How's my editing? It was quite unexpected to say the least. I'm kind of sad that there were so many breaks, but at the same time, like I had such a good time just building the project. And I think the video, regardless of breaks, came out really well. So I think it's okay. I'm still very proud of it. I love the individual tricks. I almost feel like now it's more about the dominoes and the intent and the idea of the design rather than if it works 100% of the way. In, in some ways, you, you need to take a risk to really push yourself to the next level and see what you can create. I feel like if I didn't take those risks, then it wouldn't have come out the way that it did. And even if there were fails, I'm still very proud of the setup and all the tricks and arrangements. I'm very happy with how the overall setup came out, regardless if there were fails. If you take anything away from this, just know that fails are okay. They are part of the process and it happens to all of us. It happens to me all the time. I'm a professional domino artist and I'm still learning. I'm still surprised by what physics throws at me. You know, I'm gonna watch these videos back over and over to try and learn from them and prevent these fails in the future. And also remind myself, like, if you have a thought that something is going to fail, please fix it, please fix it. If you haven't seen the playlist of videos where I showed how I made the setup, click over here. There's like eight different videos or something, but I go really in depth of how I created it. Thank you so much 
so much for all of your kind words on the main video. Reading those comments really just made my day and it, it made me feel like I am okay to spend more time making big projects like this. As long as people keep sharing and you know, I'm able to take off that much time to build something big, I would absolutely love to do that more. So thank you for your support. Today's featured community member is Kid Perfect. So I've been watching his channel and it's so good. Literally, he just built a cube with nearly 5,000 dominoes. That is super impressive. Also, he's so close to 100 subscribers. It would be amazing if you could all subscribe to his channel. Domino community, please go support him. Link is in the description. And if you want to buy dominoes, link is also in the description. H5 Domino Creations are available. And I think that's it. I'm Lily Hevish, and keep on building.